This is Zulkanian Abdul Rahim. Ex-offenders who have completed their sentence are not subjected to electronic monitoring. It is not appropriate to do so when they have not committed any further crime. Instead, to reduce their risk of committing violent acts, again after release, we try to address the underlying issues. While incarcerated, offenders who are at risk of violent re-offending are enrolled in psychology-based correctional programs. They learn to address negative thinking patterns that lead them to violence, better regulate their emotions, and resolve conflicts without resorting to violence. The Singapore Prison Service also works with the families and community partners to support ex-offenders after their release to better prevent re-offending. Members of the public who are in any danger of harm I advise to call triple nine for assistance. The National Anti-Violence Helpline, 1-800-777-0000, which is manned by trained social workers, is also available 24-7 for members of the public to seek help or report on violence. Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank MOS for his uh, response. Uh, I ask the PQ, um, and my intention is actually to uh, seek clarification um, and a process whereby we can prevent further stigmatization and at the same time promote rehabilitation and reconciliation between the ex offender and the family. Back in December 2021, there was a case of uh, domestic violence uh, involving someone, uh, the perpetrator, uh, who had breached bail conditions. So I was wondering whether um, there can be more emphasis on rehabilitation and reconciliation between family members, uh, which I think would be a far more permanent and longer term solution, uh, which would be beneficial to both parties and the children as well. Uh, in this regard, uh, what would the ministry be uh, conducting uh, to do to help in the reconciliation process of our ex-offenders. By the way, I, 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 I do not like the word ex-offenders. I think we should call them overcomers. Uh, they would overcome the challenge of their checkered past. Thank you. So I thank the member for the SQ and we agree with his suggestion about the, how we should focus on reconciliation and that is what we hope to do for every ex-offender uh, because that will also make their rehabilitation and reintegration process better. So essentially uh, what we do is that for those who we've known family violence, so SPS, uh, the Singapore Prison Service, will refer these cases uh, to and work with the MSF. Uh, and also with uh, the relevant social service agencies uh, before the person is being released from prison. And in some cases, we also have uh, case conferences where we discuss deeper into the uh, situation and see how we can help them better. And uh, we have social service professionals, for example, those from the Family Violence Specialist Centre, who would also engage the families not only from the reconciliation perspective, but also how to provide safety plan in case uh, there is a reoffending. And at the same time, we also engage the perpetrators to connect the family and also to encourage him or her 
to better understand uh, what are the avenues, how they can overcome such behaviour. And this in itself, we want them to respect fully uh, resolve their conflict and to reduce the risk of family violence. And if you have followed the developments uh, that we have been look, doing uh, in family violence, uh, we uh, have uh, formed a task force on family violence where MOS Sin Sui Ling and I chaired, co-chaired, uh, and we have released uh, a set of 16 recommendations in September 2021. And uh, I'm happy to share that government has accepted uh, in principle uh, our recommendations and we hope to progressively implement this over the next few years. And essentially what we hope to do is to increase awareness of and strengthen uh, social, societal attitudes against family violence and enhance preventive efforts for persons at risk. And also we want to develop more avenues to make it easier for survivors and the community to report family violence and get immediate help. We are also working to strengthen protection and support for survivors to reduce their risk of being harmed again. And I think last but not least, we will increase the accountability of perpetrators and strengthen their rehabilitation to reduce their chances of reoffending. So we will continue to work with community partners uh, to tackle family violence. Uh, in fact, uh, everyone can play a part in breaking the cycles of abuse and neglect. Thank you, sir.